Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Smart Mockups, the number one web based product mockups generator. You can create a wide range of professional product mockups in Smart Mockups. You'll find professionally designed mockup templates for laptops, desktops, smartphones, smartwatches, even multiple device and software bundle mockups, TV screens and screen layer mockups, outdoor mockups like billboards, different types of vehicles, apparel mockups like caps t-shirts and hoodies, bags and boxes, magazines and books, as well as social media mockups for Facebook, Instagram, and others. The mockup templates are nicely organized in various categories like technology, print, packaging, apparel, home and decor, and social media. Each of these main categories have subcategories. For example, these are the technology subcategories. Similarly, the other main categories have their own subcategories as well. You can even create video mockups. Here's an example where I use a video in a billboard mockup template, as you can see. At the time of recording the Smart Mockups review video, there are over 2,000 mockup templates. You can even create your own custom mockup templates. You'll find this in the custom mockup section. Essentially, you take any image and use this button in the custom mockup editor and then add a placeholder over top of the image like so. Look for my in-depth tutorial on how to create custom mockups. Smart Mockups is packed with a lot of features, so let me focus on some of the key features that you can benefit from. First of all, there are multiple options to upload media to the mockup templates. You can upload media directly from your computer or use one of the third-party integrations like Dropbox or Canva. I'll grab a URL screenshot. You can customize the mockup templates in many different ways. For example, under the Customize tab, you can change the color of the product, like so. In some of the product mockup templates, you can use this logo visibility option to hide the brand logo. For isolated mockup templates, under the Customize tab, you can add a background color using this color palette, like so. I even add a background image from a computer or use images from Unsplash. I'll go with this one. And this is what it looks like. I can even blur it using this slider as well as use this overlay slider like so. Before you download your final mockup, you can use this crop button and choose one of these presets. For example, the 16 by 9 HD format or the square preset. In terms of downloads, you have multiple resolution options to choose from. In terms of the user interface, I found Smart Mockups easy to use, but because it's packed with so many features and mockup templates, it may take a little while to familiarize yourself. That being said, the mockups are neatly organized into various categories as mentioned earlier. You can use the search box to quickly filter specific mockup templates that you're looking for. You can mark mockup templates as favorites and then have quick access to them under favorites. The mockups team is regularly updating and improving the platform by adding new features and mockup templates as well as fixing bugs. Smart mockups is free to use, but they also have premium plans as you can see. I will be creating a separate tutorial comparing the free versus premium plans in more detail. Check the link in the description section to try smart mockups for free. Well, hope you found this Smart Markets review helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. And thanks for watching.